All right. Uh, we've had a number of these cases from Country Hearth where people are renting. The rent is quite expensive. They stop paying. And uh, they served a notice to quit on you back in July. And uh, are you still there at the Country Hearth? Who are you addressing, Ron? Uh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks. It's Sam Lytle and Shannon Hendricks. Your Honor. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. I, was, I got it backwards. I, I think it was backwards on a paperwork. Yeah, I think yeah. I've got it backwards on my paperwork. Too. All right, that's why I got it upside down. So anyway, good more afternoon. Uh, what's your position? Well, I was we I wasn't just a renter. I'll speak for myself. Um, I was an employee of this place uh, for 11 months uh, prior to me serving a little time in your jail. Um, I was, we were, I was promised upon promise upon promise, and um, I never made any money. I, I got my room. Um, I do intend on getting a lawyer um, if this case cannot be mediated out because there's it's illegal two ways um for to for them to do what they did and it's morally not right either you know now all of a sudden they want to throw us out because we don't want to work anymore for free well i, I don't blame you there so you just to stay you just get to stay there for free is that the answer they wanted you to move since july it's now almost october um, we, we didn't get a notice your honor until last month when we got we got all the paperwork together at the same time and we never all right, the notice to quit was sent to that room by no. Mr. Rognes on no. uh, July 19th for July 27th. So they ask you to move since July. 19. Then they filed the complaint in July 28th, and Sergeant Morse served you with it. Or he doesn't use Sergeant Morse. Adam Kraft. Uh, he got served September 13th. So you're right. Uh, the, the notice for this hearing was a while ago. Uh, they attempted to serve you by attachment on August 31st, 9 9 and 9 13. They could never seem to serve anybody there. Um, so you don't have a lease, you're not paying any rent. And you're indignant that you work there for free. Uh, well, then sue them for money damages, but they want you to move. And uh, I have, this happens every week. There are people living there. They stop paying their rent. It takes three months to uh, remove them using the legal process. Uh, Meg Bauer is here from Legal Aid and is willing to discuss this with you. But the bottom line is you don't have a lease and you're not paying any rent. So my suggestion is you start to prepare to find a place to move to because you can't just stay there um, without having a legal right to do so. Uh, today is the 25th of September. Next Monday is October 2nd. And uh, Mr. Rognes, I don't know if I've got you here. Two, two oh eight. Um, I've got some stuff with Rob on that day, so I could do your. Stuff How about two twenty? Does that work? Does that work for you, Andrew? What time? Two twenty. That will work. I'll explain here a little bit further. You do have a right to have a second hearing. And the second hearing has to be at least seven days from today. You do have a right to either hire an attorney or see if you can get legal aid to assist you. Uh, Meg Bauer is here from legal aid and could meet with you privately in a breakout room. But the bottom line is, as I said, you don't have a lease and rent hasn't been paid since sometime in July. Um, so I'm not sure. What do you want, Mr. Lytle? Well, um, I have tried talking to the gentleman here to get on a re resolution, and the only thing they want me to do is continue to work. And I tried making one heck of a deal with one of the owners, 
and it still didn't work. Um, well, this, they've changed owners, as you know, and that's caused a lot of this strife. But if the previous owner owes you money, uh, you can sue them for a willful failure to pay wages. But this current owner wants you to move. Um, and uh, Meg, are you willing to speak with these parties? Certainly, Judge, of course. All right. I'm going to put you in a breakout room with the attorney from legal aid. And then I'll do the Gallegos and then we'll come back to McDonald. But um, thank you, Your Honor. He's okay. Make sure. Uh, Mr. Lytle and Ms. Hendricks, is there anything further we need to discuss? Um, I don't believe so. All right, you're good to go. We'll be back next Monday.